How's it going, everybody? Jeff Slakey from iFiber One News Radio. You know, we have a big election coming up in just a few weeks, and I'm going to be doing a couple of different videos at the Mason County Auditors and Elections Office to kind of better understand where we're at, where we need to get to by Election Day in November. I'm here with Election Manager Fina Armand from the office. How you doing? I'm good. Thank you for having us. One of the big things that we want to do is make sure that people are vote ready. And we're going to go through a couple different ways to do that right now. But first, tell me, what does it mean to be vote ready? Well, we're really hoping voters, we've launched a campaign called okay. Act Early, Vote Safely. And our our big hope is that voters take the time to make sure their registration is correct. Um, if it could be possible that their address has changed, their name has changed, we'd like them to get on uh, votewa.gov and make sure their registration is accurate before um, the ballots go out so that we can make sure that we have the time to get them um, the ballot they need and they have the time to get it back to us. You can access that website, VoteWa, on uh, computers, on tablets, on your phone, and I'll be showing some examples of that throughout the video. When you get to that website, what all do you need to uh, have available? Is it mostly things people just know off the top of their mind? Or? So just to access the website, you need your, just your name and your date of birth, and you can see what, you are, what you're currently registered at. If you are going to make some changes, you do need your driver's license with you because you need to know your number. Okay. How quickly after all these uh, changes have been made will the systems overall be adjusted? So those registrations or changes that you make online will come into our computer system and we can access them almost instantly. So it just depends on whether they're made on a weekend or something like that. So if it is something that you do, we also have kiosks here in the office which you can do that, then it will show up right away. We can process that and uh, get your address and your registration up to date. But that won't impact someone's ability to vote in this upcoming election? No. We are on same-day registration. That's been a change uh, recently. So you can uh, change your registration up to uh, the last um, to 8 o'clock on election day. You do have to be in the office. The deadline for online changes is eight days before the election. So we certainly do not encourage that, um, and that's part of our um, trying to get people to act early and vote safely. Uh, we have a new voting center. It's much smaller, um, and we certainly don't want um, because of the pandemic um, that we have long lines and a lot of people in here. So we certainly want people to uh, take advantage of taking care of these things now. Talk to me a little bit about the need for someone who uh, is not in their home in Mason County all year long. As we move to the winter, people are going to start moving mm -hmm. south. How, how is that impacting and what should people do before they make that move down to, to make sure they're ready? Sure. So we have a large snowbird population of people who go to um, Arizona or to warmer climates. So we have a couple things. We have a, tr a snowbird program where we can have an address that we uh, basically, so if you go a certain time of year, we will send your ballot to, if we have an election during the time you're gone, we will se automatically send your ballot to that address. You can also make those changes online. Again, you can go to Vote Law and you can put in a seasonal address, um, you know, or a temporary mailing address. Somebody's watching this. They have gone to the website to update their information um, because it has changed and they didn't think about it. But all of a sudden they find themselves getting somehow a second ballot. What do we do in that case? Yeah. And so the good thing, of course, is that we do have same day registration, which means you can register and um, you can make changes and we don't have a deadline, which used to be 29 days before the election. And in that case, you really didn't get two ballots because all the changes had to be done before the ballots were made. Now that we have more freedom with registration, we have to send our data, our information to the people who are you know, mailing our ballots out for us. And so in this case, we've already sent our information to them. So if we make changes from this point, you know, we will send you your accurate ballot, but we can't stop the ballot that's out there. So be, you know, be, it's okay. We have canceled the ballot um, that has gone to the mad mail house, and we have lots and lots of security things in uh, place to prevent anyone from voting twice. So even if you get two ballots, 
you do not have two valid ballots to vote. One of those is canceled. Um, so the one that came to your newest address, that's your good ballot. The one that came to the most th recent thing that you updated online, that's your current. That's your accurate ballot. And again, we are here in the new election office in the back of 411 North 5th Street in downtown Shelton. It is a small uh, center opening room here. So again, encouraged to head to the websites where you can uh, fill out and change a lot of this information. VoteWat.gov, uh, MasonCountyElections.us will also get you there. But if you do have to come on in, uh, it is 411 North 5th Street, the back of the main building here. The hours are 9 to 4 Monday through Friday. And then election day will be open a little later till about eight. This is again just the start of a bunch of great conversations we're going to have. So uh, you have the confidence knowing that your ballots and your votes here in Mason County will be uh, voted on accurately, and uh, the information will be sent to the state auditor's office in uh, in the accurate and appropriate amounts of time. Fina, thank you. Oh, thank you. As we start these conversations, it's really important this year. Yes, uh, and we know so many people have questions, so I really appreciate you taking the time to come so that, you know, this information gets that out there in the public. Thank you.